Boys, we have quite a few things we need to address on today's agenda. We have one problem for each car. Skyla, we have been having that problem with the couplers on the intakes. It just so happens to turn out that the ones I bought were way too small. So this is what these are right here. These will be getting installed on Skyla right now. And hopefully she will be dialed in after that. After that, she doesn't need nothing. The next thing we're doing with that car will be brakes and uh, update on the registration for this car coming soon. Second of all, Susie is absolutely falling apart. The lifespan of this kit, as you guys know, is done. We're over it, it's time to move on. Although the back bumper is going to be staying with us. But as you can see, broken tab number one, no bolts are on those. And last week we have broken tab number two. I had to pull, I had to sneak some tape out of my job so they didn't think I was stealing nothing to take my bumper back together at break. So this bumper needs quite a bit of work. And as you can see, the whole car is absolutely filthy. So uh, Susie isn't sitting too pretty either. That one has the biggest rear main seal oil leak I've ever seen. And uh, we gotta clean it up and maybe throw some stop leak in there. Cause I'm not taking the trans out of that car. At least not yet. So let's go to AutoZone. Let's get a few things. We'll come back, wash Susie and start installing some parts on Skyla. soaking wet you know you just never know might fall off sunset right now got to head to AutoZone get a few things we'll start working on the GTR and that thing that thing needs a lot of work one thing I forgot to do was wash the windows so might as well roll them down right get a quick pull for the boys you got to it's on the right you got all this road ahead of us and you don't do a pull I don't even know if you a car guy for real hit it uh. Shift in limp mode? Nope. Park. Shut her off. Turn her back on. <sighs> Ready to go. I don't know if I ever told y'all the story. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But uh, one time I was racing a track hawk. Middle of the freeway. The freeway was uh, in Mexico. And it was, wasn't the emptiest freeway, I'll tell you that. Yeah, car went into lit mode. And I was extremely frightened because I had no power with cars coming at me full speed. And I had no power. None, none. It wasn't a great time. And the track hawk probably thought he won. But I was for sure gapping his shit. All right, y'all, we are back now from AutoZone and we hit up Walmart. We got a few little goodies. I got this um, just off uh i just impulsively bought this because i want to do an interior detail or clean the interior of the supra and all the other cars so i bought this so that we can get that job done and some other cleaners this is for the infinity and hopefully it works so we're going to throw another one of these in there stop the leak temporarily um because i'm just trying to hold off doing that trans you know dropping the trans and, and fixing it the right way for as long as possible for my pocket's sake um until we can get the funds and the skills and the tools and the knowledge to do so which you know i do want to take on that challenge of working on my own cars all of them so we could do everything and fix everything in house you know why not why not um so we're gonna go ahead and throw the infinity in the shop <laughs>
Honestly, just a simple muffler delete on a VQ sounds pretty good. Oh shit. All right, y'all, it's time to take a look under the Infinity. The Super is already washed, detailed, and uh, that's about as far as I'm gonna take it for today. Soon we'll be doing a, a full unwrapping, unbolting, and redoing everything for that car. And uh, But right now, let's look under the car. If there's any VQ people or just people who know shit about shit, because I don't know shit about shit, can tell me anything else wrong with this car, then obviously the rear main seal leaking. Um, I really feel like there's this car just needs like a lot. You know what I mean? This car needs some love. And if it wasn't my first car and gifted to me by my grandmother, um, it probably wouldn't be worth fixing. But this thing is worth infinite amount of money to me. How bad that leakage is down there. It's just, look, there's just gunk. Just built up everywhere. Just, I don't even know if you guys can. Yeah, you guys can get a good look at where it's coming from. I want to take off this panel right here and uh just just clean it like even on this side of even on, on this side of the engine it's just it's just filthy so i want y'all to see this just look at the build up on here bro that's disgusting like this thing's probably been leaking oil for years and i just never did nothing about it yeah that's disgusting oh my god I don't, there's so much, like, so much shit under here. Three, two, one. You know, I clean it up my best, but I really can't get too much. Um, But at least we know now where a majority of the leakage is coming from. And it's definitely, definitely the rear main seal. As you can see, I tried to clean it up. I scratched some stuff up a little bit. But uh, it really just needs, like, you need to drop everything out of this car to really deep clean it. I can't really get to know that. Or I need to be on a lift, at least. And, uh, I could power wash, take this off and, you know, power wash it. But it's late. I don't feel like doing that. I'm just going to throw the stop leak in it and, uh, pray for the best, y'all. Um, probably when I get paid next, I'm going to throw some new spark plugs, new coils in it. Because the car runs fine. There's no check engine lights, no nothing. It starts up every single time. It doesn't, it runs smooth. There's no hiccups. It's... It's it's fine. It's it just has this leak problem that uh it just leaks oil. All right, y'all. Now for the fun part, we can finally start working on the GTR. You guys already know what the problem is. I bought the wrong size couplers, and uh, yeah, way way too small. These ones down here, I feel like are fine. Um, so we're gonna fix these ones, and then if I hear it blow off again, or the problem happens, and it's not this. We'll go ahead and we'll replace these. So I ordered some more from Z1 and uh, these look like they're gonna fit real nice. After we did the oil change y'all, this car just felt so much healthier and uh, just doing maintenance on your car y'all, it, it just really helps the car run at its full potential. So y'all make sure y'all doing the little things before y'all do the big things. It makes a big difference. Y'all have no idea how much of a pain in the ass that was. Just those two couplers, they fit, they're way better. They fit way better and I'm happy that they're on, but I've been here drenched in sweat for about an hour and a half, just fidgeting with them because they're bigger. So there's less space to spin it and fit it on there. And then one gets on there, but the other one, anyways, y'all, y'all get the point. I'm sure y'all try to put on couplers. Um, I'm just a little bit slow, um, but here they are. Looks way better on there tight. I actually used a ratchet this time and I didn't tie them on there with a butter knife. So they should hold, you know, they're on there a lot more comfortably. I ended up switching the bottom one too um, because it just, it just felt right. It didn't feel right when the other one was on there. So I switched both of them. Now they both have bigger couplers and uh, we have extra ones. The small ones are now extra ones that we'll probably end up needing somewhere at some point on this car. Um, radiator needs to be replaced. That I was recommended to replace um, or upgrade. And then uh, brakes, maybe maybe a, a cat delete, maybe a downpipe, you know what I'm saying? Add a little sound to her. Let's warm her up, take her for a rip and uh, see if what we did 
fixed her or if she's still broken and I got to double back. She's warmed up and ready. Just for reference, this was the old one that was on there. And uh, as you can see, get up out of my shot, boy. As you can see, big old gap, big old chunk. Perfect for boost leaks. And uh, this thing was just completely warped from heat and just old and uh, yeah, it's trash. Somebody get this kid, bro. I don't even know why I'm finna let him come with me. All right, y'all. She seems pretty good. Sorry the GoPro doesn't do too well at night. Let's see. Okay. She's pulling. Oh, there she is. There she is. California stop. All right. She seems to be back. Oh, that's that's how she likes it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Let's see. Let's get a little second to third action. Oh, yeah. Third to fourth. Grandma shift. Oh, yeah. She's happy. She's back, boys. There's a Mustang right there. We're finna go gap his shit real quick. Good job. Uh, thank you, bro. For real? My, yeah, I got a super too. Yeah. It's stuck. Yeah, good looking, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I just just got her back running right now, so I'm giving her a little test drive. back there spinning the Tequatia truck but Skyla is now officially running good I'm happy we accomplished all of our goals today